The reason we care so much about Boolean algebra in this class is that we can construct electrical circuits that perform Boolean operations. And by combining such circuits, we can produce addition, subtraction, multiplication operations, and so on. So all we really need to do everything a computer does are simple Boolean logic operations such as AND, OR, and NOT. So we're already familiar with these operations. And what we're going to do is draw graphical depictions of circuits that compute these results. For example, if my output is always denoted with the letter F, then I will draw circuits that compute A and B for inputs A and B, A or B for inputs A and B, and not A for an input A. So the idea is that we have signals A and B that are produced somewhere else in the computer, and they are traveling along electrical lines. Remember that zeros and ones are chosen because they represent the presence or absence of an electrical signal along a line. Now, these signals simultaneously enter a gate. An AND gate is denoted by a flat line here for input and then a curved edge where the output signal comes out of the curved portion. So signals A and B enter the gate and the result that exits is A and B. An OR gate also has inputs A and B that come in along electrical lines. And the way we draw an OR gate is with a curved edge here that has points. And then these converge at a point here. And the output signal comes out of that point. So this logic gate denotes A or B. Now the NOT gate only has a single input, A. And we draw that gate with a triangle and then a little circle here. And so this result F is not A. Now these are the three basic logic operations that we're perhaps most familiar with. We also discussed exclusive OR, and we can create a gate for that as well. In this case, F computes the exclusive OR, which is denoted with this plus sign in a circle of inputs A and B. And the exclusive OR gate looks like an OR gate, but has an extra line with a gap between it. So we have A and B as the signals. There's a curved line here. And then there's a gap separating that from an OR gate. So this is what an exclusive OR gate looks like similar to an OR gate, but with this extra line and gap. Now these are the only operations we've discussed so far, but there are two other common gates. They are called NAND and NOR. So NAND stands for NOT AND and NOR stands for NOT OR. It's simply the negation of the corresponding operation. So NAND is the negation of A and B, whereas NOR is the negation of A or B. 
So we do not have special symbols to represent these operations, but we do have gates for these operations because these gates are fairly common for reasons we'll see in the next video. For now, let's simply learn how to depict these operations. A and B are the inputs, as usual. And to create a NAND gate, we simply draw an AND gate and put a little circular dot at the end that precedes the output line. Similarly, a NOR gate has inputs A and B. It looks just like an OR gate, but has a circular symbol at the end, a little dot, that precedes the output line. So you can see that in NOT, NAND, and NOR, we have this little circle. So in all of these gates, that circle represents negation. So a NAND gate is like an AND gate that's negated. A NOR gate is like an OR gate that's negated. We will learn how to combine these gates in a future video.